Nakia Maid is a connoisseur of beauty, luxury and elegance, which inspire her writing and her work in the events field. After browsing through her blog, I decided that she was just the person to offer some tips on how to enjoy the finer things in life. If location is the essential ingredient in real estate, then presentation is its equivalent in lifestyle. Nakia Myatt, or Nikki as she's known in the blogosphere, is dedicated to putting the style into lifestyle. Nakia Myatt has made it her business to study and experience the art of the upmarket lifestyle. She's an expert in this field and she's graciously invited us into her home. Nakia sees an event as something to be curated and not merely organized or managed. And in her world, tables are landscaped to create a little universe of luxury in which the occasion can be enjoyed to the max. Hello! <laughs> Hi, Seki. Nakia, I hear you've got a gorgeous table setting for us. Come and take a look. So, Seki, today we've got an Easter-inspired table also inspired by the Pantone colours of the year. And we're doing some photographs for, for the website. My absolute favourite part of this table are the flowers. They are magnificent. The flowers are very much inspired by a European trend at the moment. Slightly offset in terms of the lopsidedness, which is quite nice. And to complement the table, we have the little gold bunny with the pearlised hazelnuts at the bottom, which pick up nicely on the rest of the accents of the white on the table. Saki, I love to include a lot of paper elements into my tablescapes. Take for example the little tag that we've got here. Usually that would be used as a place card. They always have little gemstone elements. We've also got some ribbon that's beautifully twirled onto it and a bit of gold on the outside, picking up on the gold accents of the placemats and of the cutlery. So who is Nakia Myatt outside of the wonderful table settings and the beautiful blog? Zaki, first and foremost I need to tell you that I'm a mum. I have a seven-year-old, a five-year-old and a set of twin boys who are three. I'm also a wife with a husband who loves all the beautiful things I do that inspires our home and our children. Where do you draw inspiration for your own creativity? I tend to look at what's around me. I also use the seasons heavily to influence anything that I do in my creative field. Be it tablescaping, be it something for my children, be it something for my home. To what extent is Nikki a reflection of your life and lifestyle? I believe in living your best life and that does not necessarily mean living a luxurious life. Always do what makes you happy. So whether it means putting out a beautifully laid table for your guests or doing something in your own private space. Do it such that it makes you feel kind of great inside. So I saw a lot of tea when I walked in. Are you by any chance a tea fanatic? I am, Zaki. I love to collect teas when I travel, just to bring a little bit of the country back home with me. A day spent of me is not complete without a cup of tea. Tea time. Tea. Elaborate afternoon teas are something of a speciality for Nakia, and she'd arranged for Zaki to enjoy the experience at a premier Joburg property. When Nakia does tea, she does tea. <laughs> Saki, we've got two variants of tea today that we're just going to pour into our lovely teapot. We've got some fruit tart, and I believe it's your favourite, lemon you meringue. Know. Tea time with Nakia is so good. <laughs> you said you collected tea on your travels. What are some of your favourite destinations? I love to travel to different parts of the world with different experiences. I love Istanbul, I love the culture of it, I love London, beautiful streets and also I must add into that I love Dubai, especially because of the great food. The food's amazing, always in abundance as well. Well here's to you and all your future endeavours. <laughs>